in this part we are going to learn about google font so let's take some paragraph this is text one then i'm going to copy now since our css file is already connected to our html we can just directly go to the css file and then i'm going to increase the font size of this p so that you guys can see easily font size 24 pixel okay so now we will see what google font is so let's go to the browser then type google fonts and go to this website called fonts.google.com okay here you can see a lot of font so just choose whatever font you like uh, suppose i like this one I'll just click this and then you can take what type of style you want it is this one is thin this one is light this one is regular this one is medium then bold and so on so i'm going to take this regular one for now we can take multiple styles as well so i'm going to take this bold one as well now we are going to copy this link which is here and then go back to our html file and paste it inside the head tag okay like this then we are going to take this here font family tag okay so now i am going to give class to all my p's and i am going to use my shortcut that is i will hold alt key to write on multiple lines uh, at the same time so four times then i can write and now press escape once you are done Okay, so we have P1, P2, P3, P4. Now I'm going to target P1. So dot P1. Now I'm going to paste this. So now we can see the style of uh, our P1 is changed. We can also use multiple font at once. So once we have selected, we can go all the way to top and then browse font. And we can uh, also close this window. Then I... Uh, we can you can also search for any font if you know so there's a font called dancing script so i'm going to search this one here dancing script take this font let's take the regular only we can open this and now this time we will replace our url in html we will go in html then we will paste this here now in our style file we will copy this font family that is dancing script so let's give p2 dot p2 this font let's increase the size a lot more so that you guys can see clearly what's going on so our p1 is different our p2 is different and these are the default font so this is how you use google font i hope you guys understood this quick tutorial thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.